All right, sliding pentatonic. So this is, let's say you orient around C. You uh, put your uh, third finger on the fifth fret and then uh, slide up. And you, yeah, you could move, do the slide with your first finger. There's no rules. I prefer this one. It's a little more greasy sounding. And then you just do five to seven on that string, or G to A, and then the octave C. And then turn it around. And you can include that note into it. Let's play our way up to middle C. So that's middle C there. Now what you want to do is do the same pattern but off of middle C. And what you'll notice is the note, you know, you might, if it was exactly the same, you would have those notes, but because of the tuning of the guitar, those two notes have to move up. So if you wanted it to suddenly be B, B pentatonic, it's, this pattern will work off of pretty much any given pitch. So you could just pick a note at random, like here, and it's gonna work. Or you try this note here, G. And it's just, just a dream. And the thing is, you could even pick a note like say D here and notice you know like you don't even have a string left so you get a you get an incomplete pattern and that's okay that's, that's fucking cool or you could complete it by shifting up so yeah it works on pretty much And uh, that's its strength. It's just kind of greasy and slides around. So that's my main guy. Anyway, just try it on C. And then try it moving it around to say G. Or uh, F. But you'll notice you have to adjust that note up. Then again, you could just do that in your playing as well. You know, if you ever hit an accident, you know, if you ever hit a clam or a mistake, just recover, kind of. And so this scale, if you look at it, it leaves out tritone like if you played a full scale it would be and if if you notice it doesn't have that so basically it's a scale with no dissonance and the thing is you can add in dissonances to it as you need them crunchy ones like this F sharp. So it's kind of a magic scale that you can just slide around, but you have to make the adjustments. You know, it's when you're crossing on the guitar, it's because of this, you know, those are unisons. And then when you get to this string, all right, these are 
fifth fret unisons, and then this one is like that. It's a different interval. You know, this is a fourth, a fourth, a fourth, and then that's a third. So that causes that causes a lot of problems with the scales. But it's made up for by having these open chords be really nice and easy to play. Well, and that's the other thing. You can do these patterns off of open. Like, here's open G. And then the thing is, you can relate them back to, you know, this pattern, which is that, it's the first basic one we learned, which is awesome. I love that one. But the problem with it is it's, it's kind of like a big chunk and it doesn't shift around whereas this one will shift so you could you could start in this one and then shift out of it and then go into a different one you know so <laughs> It's, uh, it's a really flexible uh, scale system, and uh, we'll do more in the next lesson, maybe, if you're, uh, if you're uh, into jamming. And, uh, oh, that's another thing. You can add passing notes. So, for example, here's a, just a plain one. You can add in a passing note wherever you want. And you can even scoop below, like. And on this side, you can even add one in there. So it's kind of like just a skeleton, that a skeleton scale. And you can get a lot of color out of it by just just adding in color notes. I can see that. That gives it a dominant sound. That might be too much, but maybe it isn't. There's, so for every one of these kind of pentatonic notes, there's always a note or two beside it. And, you know, that's where you can, you can really, you can use trial and error, or you can learn what those notes are. You know, if that's the third of the chord, you can get a flat of third. And then above the third is the fourth. You play, That's all those melodies are. Like you just have a, an interval and then you just fill it in. So that's the strength of pentatonic is it's just like a blank skeleton of a scale or it's like a baby scale that doesn't have anything else in it and you can just toss in. Toss in whatever colors you want, even like crazy ones like. But that takes a little bit of trial and error. So my feeling is that there's not really any mistakes. It's just how you, it's how you recover from them or, you know, you hit a clam like that. Um, just try to resolve it. It's always possible to get out of some tight situation with just, okay, what's right next to it? So all this noodling is just the same pattern and I'm just, just adding in, uh, adding in passing notes, adding in recoveries after mistakes. 
you know, like... And I think the scale has the quality of being a safe landing point, and then you just add in, you know, you hit a kind of dissonant note, and then you can recover. And uh, you don't have to recover, too. You can, like, just let one of those hang, and that takes you into a slightly purple jazz area. <laughs> But the scale just gives you a little uh, safety net. See here I'm even playing some weird chord changes. <laughs> <laughs> 